Hi, my name's Joss, I'm 15 years old, I'm a Manchester United fan and I'm currently sat at Belfast Airport waiting for my plane back to Manchester and the music selection is interesting to say the least. Um, so while I've been sat here, obviously quite bored, um, I decided to sort of scroll through Twitter and a news story sort of intrigued me about some fans that uh, basically confronted Richard Arnold um, at his local pub, basically to just discuss um, the future of Manchester United with him and what he plans to do about the lack of investment put forward in the club by the Glazer family. Um, my view on this, I agree with the fans, I am a fan, I, I get it completely, but I don't really know what Richard Arnold is meant to say in this case that would not, that would not end up causing a considerable degree of backlash because at the end of the day Richard Arnold First of all, he's been promoted internally, so he's always he's always got the Glazers to thank for his job. And second of all, a CEO in any position is always the second in command or the mercenary um, to the people above them. And that that's as true in Richard Arnold's case as it was in Ed Woodward's case or even David Gill's case. David Gill was never sort of confronted about any of this sort of thing. Woodward has many, many, many times. Uh, but David Gill was never confronted about any of this sort of thing before because investment in the club was never a problem uh, before the Glazer family took over. Uh, the Magnets were always sort of investing to improve the club's in infrastructure. Um, so this was never really a problem before the Glazer family came along. Um, at the same sort of time, I know I'm doing that like Mr Burns, um, I feel as though that's quite ironic that I'm talking about the Glazers and I'm going, excellent. Um, but... I don't really get also what the fans can really do in this position because at this, while the sponsors um, and raiding their sites with negative web traffic and all the rest of it, while that will work um, to a certain degree as sort of a protest against the Glazer ownership, um, all it's going to do, as Arnold correctly sort of says, is almost, if you read between the lines, to take the money from the sinking ship, not especially to go. But as the, share, as the share prices continue to fall, the Glazers are taking more and more money out because they want to protect as much of that money as they possibly can for themselves. And now that they've recovered a lot of the debt that they've put onto the club, um, there's still some there, but they are trying to, they're trying to repair their own status and their own wealth, basically so they can pop it into their NFL franchises and sign another Tom Brady style quarterback for next season. That's that's where their priorities are. And the same can be said for Stan, Stan Kroenke, who owns Arsenal. Um, but in this case, we can't really do much as fans because whatever we do, at the end of the day, it's completely up to the Glazers. And do, they, do we really think that they care about what we think? The answer to that is no. Arnold will not do anything because Arnold has a vested interest in the affairs of the Glazers and he's always going to act in their best interests in order to save his own skin. And to a certain extent, I don't blame him for doing that. He has to run Manchester United as a business. That's his job. He's employed to do that. And whether, whether he wants to do that or not, that's what he has to do. We can't really do much about that. Um, as fans other than actually mainline protest ourselves but obviously we can't really do that every week either because the logistics are that are difficult to plan so in conclusion we're really just in a hard place but we need to figure something out and the sooner we do the better or otherwise manchester united is done we can't even put a fan in charge we've seen what happened with mel morris and derby county we've seen the relegation to league one i'm not suggesting that it will get that bad but I'm suggesting that something needs to be done where the football and the business is held in balance and there's not a resounding swing one way or the other. Um, right, so, yeah, that's basically all I have to say. Um, thank you for watching this brief, short rant. Um, I think my plane is about ready in about two minutes or so.